Let's DIY a solar pool heater together. We've got all the parts I think we're going to need. And if we're missing something, we'll figure it out as we go. Got some black half inch irrigation line, a whole bunch of different couplers, half inch to three quarter inch threaded. And I've got some little strappy things to hold it down to the plywood, some black paint to paint the plywood black and a ball valve to slow down the flow of the water. We're gonna start off by painting the sheet of plywood black. There, we've got our nice coat of black paint on it. So now we've got our plywood painted black. We're gonna take this black 100 foot roll of irrigation hose, fasten it down in coils with these clips. So you can see the way I'm fastening it right now. So over here we have the inflow, just connects to a garden hose, which I'll have connected to a jet pump in the pool, recirculates through this black hose, through this one, and then this is gonna be the outflow back to the hose, uh, to the pool, sorry. Now I'm gonna be boxing this in with these black two by fours all the way around this. And on top of it, I'm either gonna use six mil poly or some leftover polycarbonate we've got from the greenhouse. And then we're gonna throw it on the roof of the garage here. So I slightly changed my design as I was doing this. So let me show you. So I did go out and buy a second roll of a hundred foot half inch hose and everything else pretty much stayed the same. And here is the black framing that I put all the way around it. I still have to paint this one here. And then we're gonna take this six mil poly and basically put it over this to create a mini greenhouse. I should be done with this project today or tomorrow, so I can't wait to throw it up on the roof of the garage and to see what actual heat gains we get from it. And I'll keep you guys updated and we'll see how it goes.